I don't know how this is gonna work, but I would hope well fire. Oh, oh, no! What was that? It just curved! Oh, come on! Do I need to be in first person? That was bullshit. Fire! Oh, what? What's up, guys, and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. And for today's episode, we have a pretty big update to the game, but it's a simple one. All they've added is first person mode. And if you guys remember the other games Landfall has made, you know, the April Fools ones, your Tab G, your Tab Z, you know that they do first person real silly. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it's gonna work in actual tabs. And the tree tribe may outnumber the invading ground dwellers, but fortunately for the ground dwellers, they pray to me. So I'm gonna be assuming direct control of their most powerful warrior, I think. Okay, first time deity here, guys, so cut me some slack. I am now the most blessed of bone mages who can uh, switch to first person, right? Okay, yep, that's to be expected. We got first person, we got third person, we've got spikes. Oh, suck it. Uh, nope, nope, not interested, not interested. Guys, help, help, help. Oh, that hurts. He died valiantly doing what his god demanded of him. Now, fortunately, I may lose my vessel, but I do not lose my mind. I will now be taking control of you, fine warrior. Please, please hit your target. Please hit your target. Thank you. Even if it's in the toe, I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> so we need to aim up with this guy a little bit. Oh, we got a flanking party. Way to go, guys. <sighs> Oh my god, this is exactly like tab G and tab Z. Aiming is impossible. <laughs> Look at that tree. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. You had to have known that I wouldn't be able to resist this for long, okay? All hail the holy snuffleupagus. <laughs> I can only imagine what this is gonna be like. We got a whole bunch of little farm dummies just asking to get stepped on. Can I step on you guys? Does that do any? Oh, yep, that seems to do stuff. I'm not even attacking. I'm just stepping over them. Interesting. I didn't know that Snuffy could actually kill people like that. So what if I change to first person? Jesus. No wonder you're having a hard time killing people underneath you. Snuffy, you can't see anything because you don't have eyes. When it comes to most units in this game, you have a pretty good idea of what you're gonna get when you go into first person. But I have no idea what's gonna happen when I become a wheelbarrow. Like, can I control? Oh, I can control the individual people. Okay, well, we're gonna be the world's worst driver. This thing does not have brakes. This thing does not have brakes. We do have uh, uh, a concussion. I was gonna say we do have multiple attacks, but uh, Probably not the best unit for this level. So if I can't use any dumb unit I want to experiment with, I need to be at least a little bit strategic so that we can have a good fight and actually beat the level. I figured they're sending out warriors wearing nothing but dried kindling. Why don't we just inhabit the mind of a fire-breathing dragon? Wait, what? I have to be one of the flag girls? What is this? Can I? I can't even control the fire. Yeah, I'm a flag girl and I have no control over the fire and only a quarter of the control of where this thing is moving. Hey, which one of you is turning the fire on and off? Can I switch to you? Because we're torching our own units, you idiots. Oh dear. Uh, sorry, sorry about this. Only 25% responsibility on my part. Oh, oh, don't, don't slap me, don't slap me. No, no, no. Come on, dragon, turn your dumb paper neck. <laughs> I got slapped around. Ooh, we still got a couple alive. I turn into you and then just uh, slap. No, no slap. Okay, so the attack is the ability to slap through them. I, I can't control the dragon at all. I'm getting real tired of fighting these guys up close. And you can't use ranged units because apparently Hay is the Kevlar of the farm world. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blow them to hell. I don't know how this is gonna work, but I would hope well fire. Oh, oh, no, what was that? It just curved. Oh, come on. Do I need to be in first person? That was bullshit. Fire. Oh, what? Holy shit, look at that shot. We landed it right in the middle. Okay, the first one could use a little work, but we really tightened it up there in the end. 
Now, everybody knows that two halflings make a holy, so the math adds up. This is a 1v1, but I'm still not confident about it <laughs> because I get the feeling they are going to jump into me awkwardly. <laughs> oh, God, they're creepy. They're, they're humping stuff, and I fell down. I got almost no health left. I just realized I have a health bar. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, did we swat him out of the air? Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Kill him. Kill him with fire or your sword. Why do I say fire? I can't confuse him, okay? He just took a baby-sized sucker punch to the lips. I can't afford to have them both jump into my nuts, so we gotta take down at least one of them before they get close to us. And this is the only ranged unit I can afford. <laughs> Don't feel good about that because he can't aim worth a shit that went right through him. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Run away. No, no, okay, I know he's inappropriately touching you. We have some kind of weird conga line going right now, but please murder. Yes. Oh God, that was so close. At least we got blood this time. Farmer Joe, you know I wouldn't call you out of retirement unless I needed you. You're my only hope, so please, for the love of God, can we have pitchfork meat, tiny little fuzzy spasming body? I just want to kill a halfling or two. Oh, and we won! I think they might have fallen to death, but to be perfectly honest, I'll, I'll take it. Even if you land on them and crush them, that's still a win. This game really just loves to be cute sometimes. You know, you'll have a hard time with two halflings? Oh good, here's a hundred of them. <laughs> Joke's on you, game. This time I can afford a big boy. We got ourselves a samurai giant, and he can press the number two. Whatever that did, okay. Um. Well, now we can hit space. Space isn't really doing anything. Don't you have some kind of like backflip attack? Oh, oh, I switched and it did it. If I switch from first person to regular person, then the, the special attack goes off. Is that what space is? Good to know. Finally, a level that I can appreciate. Okay, we're gonna play a little hide and seek. I'm gonna be taking control of one of my favorite units ever, the Firework Archer, and we're gonna see who's hiding around this map. You hear the strumming of any gentle banjos? Maybe some really handkerchiefs in the wind? I don't suppose they could be hiding down here, perhaps? <laughs> that do anything for you guys? <laughs> there we go. How do I aim this thing? Uh, like this? Oh, 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 there we go, we got one, we got one. It's cool to see uh, how long the actual cooldown on this stuff is and how bad the aim is. So it's not the problem of the unit, it's the weapon, I suppose? This is actually kind of tricky. <laughs> I didn't see it raining them. Uh, who's still alive? Oh, I see you guys now. What do you, where, hey, where do you think you're going? I don't think so, no running from me. You cowards. I think out of every unit I've tried so far, the catapult was hands down the coolest. So of course, we're gonna try the catapult's deranged cousin, the Huacha. <laughs> and I'm not really sure how this is gonna work because this thing does not seem to aim. Do I just fire? fire? Oh, oh, there it goes, there it goes. Uh, we might have gotten something, but let's just do a quick about face. We're gonna back it on up a little bit. Reload all those rockets. Fire! Oh, we actually hit something. Maybe it's really hard to tell. That's a lot of bone mages. That's a lot of bone mages. Back it up, back it up, fire. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> okay, siege units in this game, by far the most fun. Hand-to-hand -hand combat is cool, but you keep seeing inside your head and just clipping into people. I just want to bombard crowds. Now, Squire, you wanted a chance to redeem yourself. Okay, you got absolutely worked by those two garden gnomes earlier, so now we're gonna make you face off against a caveman. He's far less equipped than you. He's just got a stick and a loincloth. You got a metal helmet and a sword. This should not be a challenge. This should be an execution. <laughs> but you never know when he falls to his death. Do we count that? I'm gonna go again. We picked the caveman back up, set his bones, gave him six to eight weeks to heal, and now we're gonna try that again, hopefully having a bit of a fight with it, right? Why don't, why don't we just, uh, yeah, there we go. That's the stuff. So it takes two hits from the sword to kill pretty much anything. I just don't understand why somebody would wake up in the morning, leave their house, cut down their front lawn, wear it like armor, and then find a bunch of like-minded friends to go pick a fight with the giant. Like, I just don't know what is going through people's minds. 
other than the giant red fist of an angry man. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't even see underneath me. I got such a big chest that I just have to assume that they're dead. When the cries stop, I know I win. The Scarecrow is hands down one of the coolest looking units in the game, but it is always a disappointment. I don't think I've ever seen it do something useful, so maybe that'll change once I take control of it, right? We could be the one to throw the fistfuls of giant birds at our enemies. Good birds, avoid the birds. And you have a 15 second cooldown, are you guys kidding me? I love that they're talking between themselves like, this guy's got no idea what he's doing. Yep, we're pretty screwed. Joke's on you, birds. I'm gonna go ahead and hide in the woods and wait for you to be off cooldown and then launch you at my foes before hiding back in the woods again. That's actually doing something. Okay, yeah, you know what? Maybe 15 seconds isn't too bad. <laughs> Are you guys telling jokes between each other? What's so funny? I'm missing out. Oh, don't get closer. No, stay back. Stay back. Where did my birds go? Birds go. I summon you. They, no, no, they've abandoned me. They flew past. Run away. Wait, we, we won. Way to go, birds. You know that I couldn't end the episode without trying out Zeus. And of course, we're going to line up our favorite little superconductors, the halflings, to see if we can chain through half a dozen of them. It's hard to tell. Uh, nope, no, it's definitely not chaining through them. Hey, Zeus, is there some kind of trick to this? <laughs> some kind of magic trick to your magic lightning? We are definitely quite a bit bigger than them, but I am getting bombarded. <laughs> Zeus, help. Should I pass over control to you? Yeah, you know what? Maybe this is uh, this is your problem. Why don't you just deal with all of that real quick? I'll be over here. You guys know I couldn't abandon him. Okay, Captain goes down with the ship, but at the same time, the ship is definitely sinking. You know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And there's a whole lot more tabs for me to do now. I want to continue the arena challenge, which we already started. I want to do more first person stuff because there's a whole bunch of units that I didn't get to try yet. And there's more secret units that I didn't get to this episode. So if you guys want to see that stuff, as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know which one you want to see first, and I'll return for more soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.